this, in this I, I take no pleasure in having to do this. But it must be done because it's it's horrible what, what, what I saw happen here. Now, me being an optimist, right? That's what I've been a lot of times. I, I start off optimistically with these candidates because I don't want to be jaded and be like, ah, you look phony. Did you see her? Did you see the way her eyes dance? That seems phony. Oh, did you see the way his the way he was holding his hand? That's probably like probably phony. Like I try not to do that. I try to be open and be willing to say, okay, you know what? I'm gonna get the benefit of the doubt. But I will start taking points off. So you're gonna start at a hundred points. All right? And I'm just gonna pay attention. And as warranted, I'm gonna start deducting them. And deducting them. See, that's what I do. I know some of you do things differently, but we are not the same person. So when I was willing to give Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez support, it was because, well, like I said, I'm an optimist and I give people the benefit of the doubt going in. They have to lose it for me to take it away. And speaking of taking it away, here goes a clip of Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez on the Jake Tapper Show, State of the Union. I move on. Uh, you endorsed progressive candidate Cynthia Nixon in the Democratic primary for governor of New York. She lost on Thursday to Governor Andrew Cuomo by a whopping 31 points. Now, I know progressive candidates have had plenty of other victories, including yours. But Governor Cuomo said that your progressive wave was, quote, not even a ripple. He called your primary win a, quote, fluke. And he asked on Friday, quote, where was that effect yesterday? What's your response to Governor Cuomo? Well, I mean, I always take a, you know, I'm, I'm always down to, to go toe to toe sometimes, but I think what's, what, when you actually. What the hell? No, 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 no. Andrew Cuomo just dragged you and all progressives. He said you are a fluke, a flash in the pan, that you aren't real. And your response is, well, you know, I'm always down to go toe to toe. Sometimes that don't even make sense. I'm always down. I'm always down to go toe to toe. Sometimes deducting points. Every single down ballot progressive candidate in my district, New York 14, won. New York had a profound uh, tide, title change, really, in the Democratic Party. One out of every five Democratic senators got replaced on Thursday night. And uh, the path to eliminating the IDC was through New York 14 in my district. So I'm proud to say that every single uh, locally endorsed candidate that we mobilized for won our election. Right. Cynthia Nixon did a phenomenal job. She lost uh, your district by 30 points. Right, right. But we focused on our local Kansas and we focused <laughs> on the legislatures. But, you know, I think that what she did was that she centered a lot of phenomenal. Why, why does Jake Tapper have to look like he hasn't had a bowel movement in about three weeks. And why does Jake Tapper ha ha had to repeat that Cynthia Nixon lost by 30 points? You know, I would love to go on the Jake Tapper show and just remind him that Hillary Clinton lost two times in a row. And she, she blew chunks. That's why you have Trump. But you would say, oh, Tim, stop bringing that up. Anyway, the point is this. Jake Tapper, take an x lax Alexandria Ocasio you should have fought harder here, should have punched him verbally, not real punches, okay, but should have punched him verbally and fought back and defended progressivism, defended the policies against Andrew Cuomo, who's a corporatist. Andrew Cuomo ain't nothing but a Wall Street, a big pharma, special interest, darling. That's all he's ever been. He ain't been on the right side of any issue of substance without being prodded there. And when he when he is on the right side, it's it's an, it's like he had no choice. He had no choice. It's all window dressing. Now all of a sudden he supports marijuana. You should be calling him out. See, look, people don't support you, Ocasio Cortez, to join the establishment. They supported you to fight the establishment. That's why people gave you money and why people came out. It's because they thought you were going to fight for them. Not go, oh, I could be one of y'all now. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, got nothing else to say there. Just wanted to be here at the table. This is a nice table you guys got. I was going to turn the table upside down and burn it, but now that I get to sit at it, well, psh. Wine, please. See, that's, that's what's happening. 
It keeps happening. And that's why I started this show off telling you, I don't trust politicians. I just don't. I don't trust media talking heads either, but I don't trust politicians. You can't. Uh, issues. She centered racial justice. She centered criminal justice reform. She centered the legalization of marijuana, single payer health care, and a lot of down ballot candidates benefited from that. And what I also look forward to moving forward is us rallying behind all Democratic nominees, including the governor, to make sure that he wins in November. What? What the hell did she just say? Yo? Did she just say we're going to support the governor? Mm -mm -mm. Lord, she just said we're going to support Cuomo. You know, if it wasn't for our backstabbing friends, we'd have no enemies. And I mean that. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez is kowtowing to the establishment, obviously. There is nothing that Andrew Cuomo that has done that would give anyone reasonable person with any type of reasonable amount of spine or, or uh, I don't know, bone marrow left in their spine to support him or either endorse him or, or give him any type of support at all. Like, like what did he possibly do? He just, he just shit it all over progressives. Um, he said, you're a fluke. You don't matter. And your response is, well, you know, typically, I, you know, me, I always fight. I'm always down to fight, but not now. And <coughs> and uh, we will fight for him. <laughs> We're going to fight for Cuomo. All right. I don't even know how you, how you clean it up. And you know what? I don't want to clean it up. It is what it is. It's not my job to clean up your mess, Ocasio-Cortez. See, what it looks like, what it looks like is once they get where they want to go, they don't need you no more. And uh, Ocasio-Cortez is doing a great tap dance for the man, for the system, for the establishment, for the status quo. That's what she's doing. And why would she need to do it? She didn't need to do it. She's been, she's got New York District 14 all sold up. Why would she need to kowtow for Cuomo? Cuomo's a relic, a dinosaur that needs to be gone. If it wasn't done this time, but... His performance against Cynthia Nixon, though he overwhelmed her, hurt him in the in the long run. I know definitely there's no 2020 bid in his his future and his his eyesight. So that was a great thing. But for Alexandria Ocasio to come out here, you know, and allow Jake Tapper to to, to make her want to, you know, be nice with Cuomo. Look, this ain't even Jake Tapper's fault. She's offering this shit. He didn't say, "Will you support Cuomo?" Did, did, did he say that? No, he didn't say that. He didn't say anything. She unilaterally has decided that she wants to support Cuomo. What happened to I got to check with my, my, my crew? I got I to gotta check with the, the Democratic Socialists of America, the Black Socialists of America. I got I to gotta check. Uh, I got I to, gotta, you know, that's what you told Crawley. That's what you told Crawley. So I see now we got to go to war against you too because you are part of the problem. See, once you start supporting people like uh, Crawley or people like Cuomo, or once you start hanging out with corporate Democrats like Booker, if you're Andrew Gillum, you create a situation where now we got we to gotta go after you too. See, the truth don't care where it go. The truth is just what it is, and the truth just seeks out BS. It just seeks it out. It's like a it's like a vapor, and it travels, and it like seeps through pores and doors and walls, and it just goes wherever it needs to go to find the bullshit, and then it just calls it out. Alexandria Casio Cortez is a disappointment. This video is proof of that. Her kissing Cuomo's backside. It is what it is. That's what it is. So once again, I reached out to Ocasio's people. They're like, ah, we don't care about this dumb Tim Black. I mean, come on, man. We don't, we don't care about these guys. This guy, was, what would he possibly, what do he possibly will be paying any attention to him for? We get to go on CNN and lie our asses off. Or we get to go to CNN, CNN and sell out everything. And we get to sell, yeah. So why would we give a damn about uh, Tim Black on YouTube and Facebook and Twitter? You know, unless, unless you allow this video to get some legs, and then they have to, they can't ignore it. They have to pay attention to it. Then they have to respond because we have to hold them accountable, folks. We have to hold them accountable for their bullshit. And this right here is bullshit. 
Cuomo is not deserving of endorsement from anybody who calls themselves a progressive, period. And to do so is a betrayal of all things progressive. 